Hi there, it's Sven from the Average Tabletop Gamers and I'm going to be looking right now at the Warhound Scout Titans for Adeptus Titanicus. So, you've no doubt seen Gary's unboxing of the main box of Adeptus Titanicus. If you haven't, check out the links below. You'll see the link to the video for it. And obviously Gary's also done uh, an unboxing of his Reva Titan. So I've also picked up the game uh, and I've got myself a box of Warhound Titans, as you can see here. Um, so we're going to have a quick look and see what you actually get in the box. So this is obviously, uh, just for convenience, I've taken the cellophane off and uh, I've already opened up the box slightly here. So I'm just going to tip these out so we get to see what we've got. Okay, uh, oh, got a decal sheet as well. I'll grab that out. So obviously, first thing is it's a standard kind of games workshop, um, like what you like the unit level boxes. Um, so we'll pop that there for the moment. So we get our build instructions. Um, as you can tell, it's a nice kind of multi-page booklet, and it looks like we've got. A lot of different options in this kit to build up our warhound so we are getting you what we are getting a pair of warhound titans here in this box uh, so we'll have a look at the sprues themselves so it looks like first up here we've got a weapon sprue um, so I think you get uh, and I'll just double check this it looks like you get two of each weapon and you get the kind of standard loadouts that you get for a warhound so we, we are getting um, the Vulcan Mega Bolter, uh, the Inferno Gun, the Volcano Cannon, and checking the back of the box, the Plasma Blast Gun, which were like the traditional uh, loadouts for the Warhounds way back in the days of Epic. Uh, and as you can see there, I mean, as Gary's already pointed out in the other videos, these are amazingly detailed. Uh, plastic kits so we've obviously got a weapon sprue uh, which has got some other little greeblies on there like some hoses uh, and as I say we've got the main four weapon types on there and it looks like we've got two of each uh, we've got a couple of a couple of large bases so you can see already so I used to play epic a lot uh, back in the day and the warhound titans at the time were based on the 40 mil square bases so that's obviously a, a much larger base now that's like one of the 60 mil round bases um so i would expect the size of these warhounds is going to be considerably larger so it looks like this is the main body sprue so it's a three sprue kit plus bases and you can see there we've obviously got the feet it looks like both warhounds are on the single sprue And we've got some really nice detail components on there. All little pistons and things on the back of the legs. Um, and it looks like because they've got ball joints on uh, the top of, on, on the ankle there it looks like. And it's like a socket on the hip joint. That there's going to be some posability with these warhounds so you know you you are, you can get them in that stepping pose if you want to and the final frame that we get the final sprue is the carapaces and all the armor plating and the heads now what's interesting to note here is that for the two warhounds you do get multiple sets of leg greaves heads and carapaces so you can see there we've got there's one head we've got a second head there there's number three and there's number four so it looks like yeah they're giving us two kind of traitor heads and two loyalist heads and again they give us two loyalist carapaces you can get them in the better there. So we get two loyalist carapaces and two traitor carapaces. Now it does look like we get three sets of greaves for the legs. Um, 
and we get various other armor components here but it does look it's nice of games workshop that out the box that gave us the options because what they could have done of course is just given us a, a bog basic warhound titan and then made it so that you know we would have to pay extra if we wanted to get the traitor pieces or have a separate box entirely but this way of course we can now mix and match we can make them so some of them are uh you know traitors some of them are loyalists or that you know that you've got the kind of the legion that's that's still not switched over yet you know it's kind of it's it's gone traitor but it's um they haven't re-kitted all of the titans yet and so the last thing that we get is we do get our decal sheet or our transfer sheet um getting away a bit of aberration there in the lens trying to get that out in the light so you get some standard kind of titan um markings and then we get five uh legion markings which are quite nice uh legio griffonicus legio furians legio storum legio taurus and legio mortis so if you are wanting to do one of those five legions and you've got some decals nicer there to go with that um so yeah three sprue kit two bases decal sheet i think that's quite a nice uh it's quite a nice size booklet that in terms of the detail um that they do give you in building um and obviously you've got different weapon options in there which is quite nice so you can tailor them what i'm probably going to do with mine uh and let me go back to the weapons broom to see yeah we should be able to do this um i'm hoping that i should be able to get some magnets into these so that i can make kind of swappable weapons but we will experiment with that and maybe i'll do a little video of how to do that uh if i don't make a complete mess of it so in terms of the cost um so this retails at 40 quid 40 pounds for the two titans um if you shop around if you look at some of your friendly local gaming stores some of your games workshop dealers you might find a few that run discounts so for example i got this one from goblin gaming and it came in at 32 pound because they do offer some discounts on some of this stuff as well as having a loyalty scheme so of course you buy stuff from goblin gaming and you are going to build up some discount so what i'm going to do is i'm going to go and uh, build these titans and So after doing the unboxing, I decided I would quickly build the, the, the Titans up just to show you them built. And you can see them there. And considering the what I'm used to when I used when I think about it, uh, Warhound Titans, going back to the old days uh, when I used to play Adeptus Titanicus, where the Titans were on the 40 by 40 mil bases, um, these are actually huge. I mean, these are probably about three times the size. These are bigger than what a warlord titan used to be like in my memory um so i'm look well impressed with these and i'm looking forward to getting them painted up and getting them put on the battlefield the kit itself is really nice so um as you can see i've magnetized the weapons um and there's a video on the channel which you'll see about how to magnetize the weapons for your titan so you can go and check that out and i'll put the links to that down in the comment section below um just one thing here about the the kit which is very nice is and i pointed this out when i was doing the unboxing part of this video but we got a lot of spares and so with the spares you get quite a few plates you get two carapaces you get a couple of heads and some other bits and bobs and what i'm going to use those for especially the carapaces and the heads is i'm going to try and build them into some scenery pieces to make some crash titans so again keep a hold of your spares make sure you are uh reusing them and you are getting the most out of your kits with all your spare parts that you get because i say we, you know you do get the, the loyalist and the traitor variants uh in the kit but overall great kit and i think well worth 32 quid or 40 pound retail from games workshop so you can go and check out all the rest of the content and everything else we've got about uh adeptus titanicus on the channel make sure you hit the like share and subscribe and hit that notify bell just so you kept up to date with any videos from us here at the average tabletop gamers and you can follow us at the various social media outlets like twitter facebook and instagram where we post regularly if you make sure you give us a like a retweet a reshare a regram all the other social media things that you like to do you can also go and join the average tabletop gamers support group and chat and post 
um, and comment and post from other gamers like yourself. So make sure you get on over to Facebook and check that out. So from me, Sven, this has been an unboxing of the Adeptus Titanicus Warhound Scout Titan box. So until next time, we will see you here. Thanks for watching the Average Tabletop Gamers. Bye.